I wanted to to tell you a few things very important to me and I believe that you'll appreciate them as well. I know that you are going through a lot, a lot of challenges in your life and many difficulties and obstacles. And I want to remind you that they're all taking place because of your goodwill and because of your true intention to come closer and closer to Hashem and to the light. If you would, God forbid, give up on your dream to be holy, to be righteous, to be pure. So life would kidnap you and drag you to flow with the stream like all the rest of the dead fish in the river that are swimming with the stream. But the fact that you are fighting back and that you try to find your own direction and not to be led by society and the pressure around you and you keep on craving and hoping and desiring the truth makes you alive and makes you reach your goals and your hopes even if it's not always so clear not what the goals are and not if we achieve them or not but like that the Zohar Kadosh is saying that the person who wins the war is the person who holds the sword in his hand and then the Zohar is asking if he holds the sword so how come you say that he won the war it means that he still has enemies person who really won the war can put down his weapon. So the Zohar is answering to its own question by saying that the war never ends. And as long as you're fighting and you hold the sword in your hand, it means you're winning. So you're winning and we are winning and we're doing it together and it's beautiful. So just keep up with the great work. Cheer up yourself and do amazing, amazing, beautiful things like only you know how to. Blessings.